at Tucker Max, get his new book. And coming up in a few minutes, Vanessa Hudgens well, will she, be here. She just walked in, and there she is. Hello, Vanessa. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Good afternoon A proper introduction. Let's welcome for the first time, Vanessa Hudgens, everybody. There she is, everybody. Yeah. 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 So how are you? I'm pretty great. I'm oh. looking at pictures of myself right now on your computer. I know. I wanted to save that thought for a second. Okay. But Kavino uh, <laughs> and I, who's on the West Coast, Kavino says hi. I see him on Skype here. Wave, Kavino. Hey, Vanessa. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the conversation we were just having has to do with underwear. And oh. Mario Lopez just came here. And Mario Lopez is like pushing his new boxer briefs. He said hello, oh as a matter of fact. And, and he he said made so, underwear? Yeah. Mario, uh, rated M for Mario. Oh. So we were, ta- <laughs> we were talking about... Uh, I thought it was rated M for Mexican. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they might. Well, you're Mexican. Camino's Mexican, too, so you can say yeah, that. I can't say that. Now, how old should a guy's oldest pair of boxer briefs or boxers be? I mean, how, I mean, women don't keep panties very long. I'd hope, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't know. Once they start, like, tearing up or, like, the waistband starts getting, like, ruffly, I'd say throw them away. Yeah, like, what's, what's the oldest pair? Do you have any sentimental ones that you've kept just for fun? Uh, no. <laughs> no that would see, it would be, it's, no. see, when a woman keeps uh, old panties, that's just gross. You, you have, you said you have some from college still? That's ridiculous. Uh, it's from, the, from the late 90s, bud. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I wear them in rotation. I'm saying they're in the closet, you know, for whatever reason, they're there. You're like, I lost my virginity in these boxes. Yeah, I, they may have special meaning, but I forgot <laughs> what they were along Those the way. Those were your tidy whities <laughs> from uh, yeah, 95. Yeah. <laughs> Those were my underoos. Yeah, I still have a pair. They were Chewbacca ones, in fact, and I still have them. Now, uh, yeah. Vanessa, uh, <laughs> I ha- on the screen over there is when you Google image you, mm-hmm. I just wonder... Which of those pictures you love or hate? Because the other day we were just talking about when you Google image yourself or someone, yeah. it's so arbitrary what comes up sometimes. Yeah. Like, do you look at those Come and on. say... Would you type in, Rich? Because I'm going to do the same just, thing. Just Google uh, Vanessa Hudgens. And okay. when, when those pictures come up, is there one there where you're like, this is a sweet picture? Oh, this one sucks. Um, well, there's like one where I'm on the beach um, that I was literally like, I think 16. Oh, so I'm like, that's kind of outdated. But then I see the cover that I did like a photo shoot for details, and I'm like, "Damn, girl, this <laughs> man, look at me!" That's awesome. All right. So yeah, the 16 year old on that. Yeah, that's creepy. Now, see, I don't want to look at that now. Yeah, don't look. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so yeah, dude, I just googled her. They're all good. They're all they all look pretty. Thank you. Uh, you look at Vanessa Hudgens on the Cavino and Rich show now. Um, Spot, do you want to describe Vanessa Hudgens for everybody? Because Tucker Max, there was another guy we had on earlier. He's an author. Said he saw you in the in the lobby, and he said you look so young and vibrant. He said you look great. Well, you do. Thank you. you yeah. Do. Well, I mean, you're 23 now, right? Yeah. But you've been in this for you've been doing this for for quite a while. Yeah, kind of a vet. I feel. You're you're a veteran. But at the in- same time, like so not. I'm like I still have so much more ahead of me, so much more that I want to do. So makes sense. Uh, Spotty Noah, obviously, what, Spot loves describing people, and he's really awkward about it. I don't know why Kavino still does this. I really don't because because it's, it's radio, you baboon. Imagine <laughs> you baboon, yeah, baboon. Imagine just staring at someone and being like, "Let me describe you and how you look." And, and well, dude, what you're all wearing. of a sudden you're too. We've been doing this eight years, and you're too cool for it now. You're too cool to do. Hey, it, listen, if you want to fight in front of Vanessa Hudgens, <laughs> <I'm just laughs> it makes me feel awkward. I'm prefacing that by saying it makes me feel awkward. I know. Um, uh, <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens, young and vibrant, as you said, <laughs> uh, dark hair. Uh, Great smile, very nice eyes. You have a very exotic look to you. Yes. I know you're a, a, a mutt. Many, many yes. ethnicities. Um, you're wearing some sort of like dress, white dress, but it's like lacy on the outside. I don't even... It's like they're vines and leaves, kind and of. Vines and leaves and stuff. And draping it... my body. And he... Oh, wow. How, how tall are those heels? <laughs> I have like six inches. Six sure. inches. Yeah, six inch heels. You something very, wrong. <laughs> very, very adorable, though. Very, very cute. Now, yeah. you, uh, you're, you're, you're yeah. in this movie with The Rock. <laughs> Now, how the hell's The Rock? The Rock is one of the few people we've never met that I really want to meet. Is he a good really? dude or what? He's awesome. You would love him. He's such a sweetheart. Like, he's one of those guys you talk to and he just gives you full attention, um, which is really nice because most people, I feel, are, like, so distracted all the time. But he's just so focused all the time. I guess when you're that big, it's like you can totally command your space and you don't need to be distracted. <laughs> now, now, this movie that you're in, uh, Journey to the Mysterious Island, I, I, I see the trailer and it yeah. just looks like, such a bizarre thing. Can you just 
please just give us a quick premise of what this is about because I keep say, uh, you see it everywhere. And yeah. by the way, it comes out this Friday, right? This yes. Friday worldwide. So look out for that. Yeah. Um, it is basically, in a nutshell, the ultimate adventure film. Um, I mean, like it's jam packed of creatures and laughs and and action and um, amazing 3D. Like it's just it's it's a fun adventure that keeps you sitting on the edge of your seat. Are you happy to be done doing uh, like the kid stuff in a way that way you could be more yourself or? I mean, no, but then again, you were a kid like, while you were doing the kid stuff, so. I, I'm still a kid now. I'm like, I, I want to do, like, a fantasy film where I could, like, play a fairy, and, like, I'd be okay if that was a family film. <laughs> um, but, I, I mean, like, I don't know. I think that, like, I just love playing different characters, and whether or not that has to be, like, a rated R movie or rated G, I'm, I'm good with that. Interesting. As, as, listen, as long as uh, as long as you're making money, doing your thing, and loving what you do, right? Yeah, and not always making money, but <laughs> well, what, do you, what do you when you're when you're a young hot chick like you? What do you even spend your money on? Are you are you good with saving? Or are you are you are you one of those uh, like rap stars from the '90s that are just spend all your money? <laughs> your high school um, musical money is it packed away so that you have like no issues at all in the future, or did you uh, buy fancy shit? I mean, I, I bought a house. It's good good invest. investing. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I'm honestly not that extravagant. Like, I'd rather spend my money more on traveling. I'll probably blow my money on traveling more than anything. Do you ever treat your friends to nice things because they were there with you when you were Oh, younger? yeah, totally. Like, last year, I ended up buying all my friends Coachella tickets, <laughs> and they're like $600 a pop. So uh, that definitely ran a big price tag nice. on Coachella for so me. So big uh, music fan. What kind of music are you into? Everything kind like of what? Who's your country. favorite? Like what? Right now, what are you into? We'll put some on in the background for you. Um, um, the Black Keys. Yeah, you know, someone else said the same thing the other day, this past weekend. Remember, Rich? Who the hell said that? Black Keys. Uh, well, they got that new song. What's their new one? Uh, Lonely Boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. That's the one. They're yeah. awesome. I love them. But I love them. I love like the Gorillas. I love the Beatles. I love. Um, oh man, Elbow. I have not stopped listening to Elbow. 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 Who the hell? Have you heard Elbow? No. Elbow, Grounds for Divorce is one of the coolest songs. Right, I want to do like a right. lyrical dance to it. Oh, it's so good. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. We'll tape you. Do a lyrical dance. No. <laughs> <laughs> when you, you do uh, a spot. Spot's a great lyrical dancer, our producer. He just has a bunch of cool boys. Oh, that sounds cool. I, ne I never heard this. It's dope. Check Elbow. It. They're, yeah. they're new, I guess. No, not at all. Really? No. I guess I'm out of it. Yeah, you are. I guess. Sorry. For someone who does radio. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens on the Vino and Rich show. When you go to these shows, do you ever go under the radar like I'm just going to go oh, see them? Oh, totally. Or, or do you get like, uh, Vanessa Hudgens will be appearing God, at the no, Elbow God, no. then, show. Then you can't enjoy it. Like, I am such a sucker for anything that I can dress up for. So, like, I love going to raves. Like, I went to a Dead Mouse concert completely dressed in neon and, like, Dead Mouse fuzzy ears on. I, like, I love dressing crazy. It's too much fun. No, I I'd imagine this, Vanessa, because you're a, you're a young Hollywood hottie. You, 19, you, born in 1988, Rich. That's that's, that's amazing. 1988. That does seem so. Well, I'm not that much older than you, but 1988. You're 23. When you go out and about, guys that would be hitting on you are 20, 30 something years old. Are you always recognizable? Because the stuff the stuff you've done isn't really guy based. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. Are there guys that you've met where they don't know who you are and it takes a while for them? They, they just think they're hitting on a hot chick? Yeah, I've met, I've met some guys who are, like, completely clueless or, like... But I'd imagine that's obvious. Yeah. Like no, I mean, like, I'm cool with it. I, it's, like, it's refreshing. I've gotten, like, job offers at, at like, a hot dog stand. And I'm like, cool, <laughs> awesome. That was a great but you conversation. Work here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, I mean, for the most part, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm... I'm I don't know. <laughs> now, Vanessa, as, as a younger, you know, girl on the scene doing big things, what what's too old where it's creepy when a guy's hitting on you? Like, what's way old? Like, yo, listen, dude, you're, like, old as hell. Um, I don't know. Like, it, it depends on what you mean, like, hitting on. Like, if they're just being nice. If you're, if you're, if, if you're single at the time. Yeah. And some guy's, like, trying to get to know you and he's like, like let's hey, hang baby. out. Yeah, and he, and he wants to, like, date you and hang with you. Date me? Probably oldest would be 35. That, that sounds about right. That yeah. be, I'd, I'd say so. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm 35 now, and I think most dudes my age are a little, if yeah, they're a little older and creepy. Yeah, we're <laughs> young. We're we're pretty young for our age. Uh, myself and Rich. Yeah, I'd say 35 is good. Yeah, I'd say so too. Honestly, it all depends on the personality. If you're young at heart, you're young at heart. Now, when you uh, are you dating someone now? Yes. How is that going? Yeah. Is it is it work out? <laughs> does it work out better when you date someone 
that's in the Hollywood scene or someone that just is a regular person doing fun regular things? So I don't think I've ever dated a regular. Is it person. is it impossible to do that? Really? <laughs> I don't know. I think that it, it would be difficult because the things that you have to do as an actor are so odd and bizarre that like unless you're in the industry, it's hard to comprehend. Like like, like what you're going to be away for three months making out with this guy like. James Franco, and you're like, uh... <laughs> is that is that uh, weird for you, though? I mean, you are an actor. But, no, uh, I mean, like, that's, that's if what If you have I to make out with some dude that's an attractive dude... That's okay. It's okay? It's better than making out with an ugly dude. True. <laughs> now, that, a lot of on-screen romances start. Do you, do you feel like uh, when you have scenes with guys, it could go there if you don't, like... Do you have to, like, separate it in your mind? But how do you even do that? I mean, like, you're in the moment when it's happening. You know your character. You're you're putting out a story. Um, so, I mean, like, it, it's all it's all make-believe. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just it's kind of fun and games. When was the last time you were actually at your house chilling out and you weren't on the road promoting shit or filming? or When was the last time you actually had a chance to sit on your couch, check what's on your DVR, and do nothing? Oh, man. It's been months. For real? Yeah. I mean, like, I was home for, Do you miss like, that, or week. do you feel like you're so busy that it doesn't matter? I kind of miss it, just because my house is such a disaster. Like, I my, my Christmas ornaments are still out. Like, I haven't, like... I, they're in a box. I got them into a box when I was home, which is good. But they're, like, still not in the garage where yeah, they should it's be. It's so funny she says that, Rich. My Christmas tree and shit... All that stuff still up at my house. Uh, <laughs> it's still up. It's absolutely still up because yeah. I've been traveling as well. Vanessa Hudgens is here. You have a lot of, you've been doing it so long, you have a lot of, you know, young Hollywood friends and everything. Yeah. When when crazy stories happen or per pictures surface of, uh, of other people or, you know, some crazy tabloid thing happens with one of your buds, do you, do you hit them up instantly to see if they found out about this yet or the reaction? I mean, uh, I, I don't really, like, check in to the tabloids and stuff. Like, I'm honestly one of the last persons to know because I never, like, really look online or, like, read the trash mags, they call them. Um, well, you're not even on Twitter, it, it seems. You are, yeah, but you haven't even tweeted. I know. I'm not one to be online. Hold on. Appa or... Apparently, Spot gave me a, a sheet here. It says, <laughs> so she at, saved the at, name. At Vanessa, uh, at Vanessa Hudgens is your Twitter account. You have you haven't sent one tweet yet. You have almost a half a million followers. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh. Oh my I God. feel bad. I feel bad. But I'm like, I, I, it's just, it seems so uncreative to me telling people what I'm doing. Like, what? where's the creativity in that? That's, that's true. Like, I'm, I'm going to get my hair done. You're, you're, you're modest. I guess you really don't, you know, you don't. I'm like, I'd rather people go outside and enjoy the fresh air and like enjoy the, looking at the sunset more than looking at their phone and tweets. Uh, you know, me. it's so true that most of the time we were talking to uh, Dr. Drew was here yesterday and he said that most people touch their phone yeah. more than their friends or a significant other. Yeah, that's crazy. You're holding your phone, and people are holding their all phone the all time. day, texting and tweeting. It's You've... taking over. So so you're not the type of girl who's always on her phone and on the internet no, a lot? No, I hate being on my phone. It, like, kind of drives me crazy. Like, whenever I have to send an email, it, like, kind of gives me anxiety because I have to look at my phone for yeah. so long. You know, you should have a talk with the Kardashians. Every time those girls are here, <laughs> they're on their fucking phone the whole time. I want to slap it out of their hand. They'll, yeah. they'll sit where you are. Texting while we're talking. While -uh. we're talking. Yeah. See, that's skills. That's like multitasking to the extreme. Well, that's also very rude. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think they know. I don't think they know. Now, what, what do you think of reality and stuff? Because you're a uh, you're a girl that, from a young age, was successful in act. You know, do, legit acting. The, the movies, the music, uh, high school musicals, and all this stuff. When when reality show stars blow up, do you get it? Do you feel like it, it's a cheap way? I mean, like, people obviously enjoy it. And, I mean, as an actor, which they are, you're supposed to bring entertainment to others. So, I mean, like, mad respect to them for, like, doing what they're doing and, like, putting it all out there. And, and yeah, I mean, like, I, I would never be one to do one. Um, but, I mean, they're, they're definitely entertaining. You can't deny that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, well, did you go to the Super Bowl? You uh, did you watch it somewhere special? Did you? Or did you not even watch the game? I I went to Magic Mountain. Yeah, uh, yeah. I rode roller coasters and then ended up at a restaurant um, where the game was on and watched literally like the last two minutes. Please tell me that when you go to the amusement parks, you do use your your popularity to not wait in lines. I didn't. I figured because it was Super Bowl Sunday, everybody would be at home watching the Super Bowl. But I was kind of wrong. There were oh, like still packed? lines. What? Yeah, Who the hell? Kind of Who, goes to the, 
Who goes to I mean besides Me. you? <laughs> yeah, who goes yeah. to Magic Mountain? She does on Super Bowl Sunday. That's interesting. Now you know. say you stay away from the tweets and all that stuff because I mean it's just not creative. I mean I couldn't agree more. It's it's very odd. But uh, what do you do on your downtime? Obviously you're always being creative, acting and everything. But but how do you? Um, what do you do for fun as far as creativity when you're just home chilling? Do you do you sing in the shower? Are you singing at home? Are you playing guitar? Are you? Um, I'm not playing guitar. Uh, I I recently my New Year's resolution was to start dancing again because a big part of my life growing up was dancing. Pasa um, doble. What? <laughs> Pasa Cha -cha. doble. Oh, I do, I do want to lose the samba. More salsa. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I started taking dance classes again. Me and my girlfriend Ashley Tisdale, who I did High School Musical with, went and we're taking private lessons from um, this guy who like choreographed both of our tours. So we've just been doing routines. She actually posted one of our dances online um, <laughs> for everybody to watch. Um, but yeah, so dancing. I oh, like wait, that's dancing. on YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Okay, um, I, I I'll check. That out. Go check it out. Watch the so dance. dancing is is the new thing. And you mentioned your your friend from High School Musical, Ashley Tisdale. She's been on the show before. Yeah. Um, do you find it interesting? Obviously, there's a big cast of of characters that you came up the ranks with. Is it possible? Do you find it interesting? Did you see that Christina Aguilera story the other day? I don't know if you heard about oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah. This is no. the, all right. Christina Aguilera. You know, besides looking like the blonde Snooky now, she's hosting the uh, <laughs> the Voice. You don't yeah. think so? She doesn't look like. Uh, <laughs> besides that, she's hosting The Voice, and that was on, a, that was a yes, by the way. <laughs> on The Voice, one of the contestants that they're judging was a guy that she grew up with doing the Mickey Mouse Club. Voice. No way! Yeah, and she didn't recognize him until <gasps> At all. until afterwards. And I'm wondering, like, along the way, when you and, and, and hold on, Rich. Not only did he get up there, they told his backstory because I saw it online. But he gets up there and he slays it because the kid's super talented. Everybody wants him on their team, right? Everybody, including Christina Aguilera. Yeah. They even say his name. And he, apparently he was the guy. He was like, apparently at that time growing up. It was like Christina, was, Brittany, Justin, and, and this dude. And, and I wonder, if you growing up doing these big things, is there a way 10, 15 years from now that you feel like there'd be someone that you worked with on High School Musical that you knew well that you would forget? Is that? Hell no. Not That's you. What I'm saying. No Not way. Vanessa Hudgens. No, no way. I found that so hard to believe. Like she didn't. The name didn't even ring a bell. Yeah. You know, I, spent, I would imagine you hold those those years coming up uh, very special to you. How could you yeah, forget any of that course. shit? No, no way, Jose. No way, <laughs> Not Jose. Not on my time. <laughs> not with this girl. Well, listen, we appreciate you stopping by. I know you got to run. By the way, uh, my name's not Jose. It's Cavino. Okay, fine. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Journey to the Mysterious Island. You, The Rock, uh, Michael Caine. There's a lot of people. Uh, wait, Luis Guzman. Yeah. I love that dude. Uh, who doesn't? Is he, is he the coolest dude or what? He's pretty amazing. I mean, he comes to work with like his own itinerary of like what he wants to happen in the movie. Um, so, I mean, like he completely created this relationship with Dwayne, well, The Rock, um, that wasn't in the script, and it's pretty hysterical. Like, he creates all these awesome sideline stories. Have, have you backtracked his work? Have you seen him uh, in Carlito's Way, perhaps? Yeah, man. This man is in every single movie, like, ever. <laughs> he's just amazing. He he's such a awesome. right. And he's so funny in this movie. Everything that he says is just hysterical. The, uh, in the trailer, they always show that part where The Rock is, like, bouncing his chest. Yeah. Did, has he taught you how to do that? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I, every time anybody asks, I, like, can't help but look down at my yeah, like, chest. And, try to, try and to bounce try your to own boobs? Bounce my boobs. It in doesn't 3D. work unless I bounce up and down, so. Well, you can do that. <laughs> well, we appreciate being here. Vanessa Hudgens, the movie Journey to Mysterious Island uh, this weekend. Thank you so much Beautiful. for being on the show. Thank you. All right, Kavino and Rich, we got more next right here on Sirius.